one thing for sure, two things for certain, today is a beautiful day. This is the fantasy show, I'm Arvis Lawson. I am with the Pink Print, and this is... Nicole Williams. And... And I'm Crystal Gordon. Thank you guys for coming on today. Mm-hmm. Nicole and Crystal are some dope huh? mompreneurs, entrepreneurs, Hustler, CEO, future, future. Okay, right. Future, future. Once previously married to one of my close friends, Mr. Williams. <laughs> previously, right. currently. Yeah, all that, right? All that, right? <laughs> and then um, one's looking to be married and uh, soon coming, right? Right. Okay, right. All right. You, right. right. You, you, you gonna right. speak that to existence? You, yeah, you heard this? <laughs> you weak. <laughs> She looking oh to, to be married. We ain't not just planning weddings, but we out here trying to be in wet, working Amen. on being in weddings, Amen. right? Okay. So, that's the word. That's girls, the word. can y'all do me a favor and um tell everyone a little bit about the print print and how it started? Uh, how did you guys come up with the wow. with the format of it all? What's crazy is our story is interesting because we literally, I remember like it was yesterday, we Mm -hmm. were sitting in the car like brainstorming on what we could do to gain generational wealth. And the easiest way that we could go about doing it, not only easy, but like ways that was different. And initially it started as a spa and boutique because she loved kids. She liked working with kids. See, see, see. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, it to she, does. Care. she liked working with kids. <laughs> and then where I came in was the creative side, decorating and all of that. Um, it started that route. We did that for like, what, two years? Almost two yeah, years. Almost. So how long, all right, I'm gonna cut you off. So how long have you guys um, been formatted as the pink print? Since 2015. Okay, since 2015. So that's about four years now. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, Mm -hmm. cool, cool. All right, carry on. Carry on. (laughs) Well, (laughs) it started as a spa and boutique for little girls. Um, We did that for about two years. It wasn't as successful as we wanted it to be, especially me. Like, and it's not even that. Like, I feel like when we started doing events, we started getting recognized more for the styling and the decorating and people wanted to book us for that. Okay. So it went from the spa and boutique and so one day we was like, okay, well, let's try this decorating thing out and see how everything goes. And it started as the pink print event coordination year three, year year one and two was spa and boutique three up until now and infinity God's willing is the event coordinating. Okay. So it's kind of like what, what we speak about at times as uh, plans change, goals remain the same, right? Right. And, and, and that's kind of the transformation that you guys have done. You, 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 your mindset was on, okay, how can I be my own bosses, right? Right. And um, it, it was in a good place because your heart was always in it. Your heart, like, as you say, you, you were into the kids, right? Which is yeah. why yeah. we work at <laughs> Kel. I'm going to say this again, Kel. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be in our near future, but mm-hmm. um, I, I think it's extremely dope as what you guys have uh, came up with, and then not to only like a lot of times um, to do something with your your close friend or a sister or whatever that can cause conflict. Mm-hmm. But you guys have been at it through the trying times of okay transitioning from the spa and boutique to the event coordinating side, like. How was it? It was difficult because we were basically trying to find our way. Like we really wanted to make a stance in the community and we just didn't understand like what our calling was. Because as Christy said, we were doing Spawn Boutique. We enjoyed the process of actually setting up before the girls came. Then when the girls did come, it was like, oh, this is a lot of kids. But it was fun. Okay. But actually somebody called Christy and booked us for, to do events and we were still the spawn boutique so we were like uh okay maybe this is this <laughs> where it's gonna go and it just led on to here but it was it was definitely a trying time for us like we really were trying to figure out what we wanted to do what avenue we really wanted to take and what we were really going to go pursue yeah and this is seemed to be what it is and that resiliency has uh actually created something on the lines of what we're gonna pretty much speak about today is Last year, you guys actually came up with uh, the gala, correct? Yes. So uh, tell me a little bit about how y'all came up with that process after just transforming from mm-hmm. one process, you know what I mean? Like you you, you, you just, well, what people would consider, say, a loss, right. 
but you you stayed on track and started gaining gaining traction with the event coordination side. But even though y'all transitioned into the new the, the new journey, y'all still was thinking about the community with we the. Still, we were trying to make it, but we also was still trying to give back. Right. And it was actually no, I wasn't I trying. Did. I wasn't trying. Well, we did. Okay, yeah, we 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 hadn't even made it fully. Um, as a company, you know, like we were still struggling. You're the first two, three years of any company, they will tell you right. that that's that's the growth. That's when that's the newborn stages, and it just came up one day that she was really she wanted to do something. She wanted to do an event. Any event that we do obviously helps our business. Correct. So now, how do we do an event and also give back to our community? And Nicole <laughs> wanted to do a toy drive, so it was like, okay, all right, we could do a toy drive. What, what can we do to make it different? We had a brainstorming session, and it was like, let's do a gala. Let's do a toy drive as a gala. People, we want our community black people, minorities, whatever, to want to give back right. and do it in a way where they will feel good about it. So right. what do people like? Partying. People like to drink. People like free good food. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we figured we could put it all into one. Yeah. So um, kind of give me uh, a short story, Nicole, on how the event turned out. Like, because you, I like, it was your first annual. Yes. Yeah. So after all, everything came into play and you say you know what we're gonna get these toys back <laughs> <laughs> no matter no matter what, go, what what's been going on within our life we're gonna get these toys back so give me a story on how you all put it made it made it made that vision turn into reality um one day i just it just hit me because i was like we were blessed that first year where we actually, well, the second year basically, where we actually turned into the event coordination. We had a wedding from um, a bride call us from UK, I think she was. That's from dope. And she trusted us to do, yeah, Ooh. she trusted us to come over here and do her, well, she came over here and she trusted us to do it. So we, then the next week it was my wedding. And it just, it just kept growing. So I was like, you know what, let's just give back because we were receiving so many blessings and it, it just, dawned on me like in August and we made it happen in December. Like it, it was tough, but it, we actually did it. But it was just, we wanted to do a back to school drive and we couldn't do it because we were like behind on time. So we, I just said, look, people wanna, they wanna have fun. Yeah. Let's just bring and the toys and let's get it on. And then like me with, with back to school drives, I, I, I feel like they're getting watered down and corny. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think people, people tend to, to step away from People tend to step away from the giving part of it all, like organically. Right. You know what I mean? Like you say, okay, well, I wanted to do the, I, we we like to do a back to school drive, but you didn't really miss that boat because it's a million back, <laughs> back to school, to, school drive, to the point, point where people have so many book bags left over. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool because I, I I'm, I'm glad our kids are, are getting that that back to school. But you guys took it to the next level not being a big corporation or company that was not even being a non-for-profit not like even a being a non-profit that, right that realm. so so you you're talking about <clears throat> not being a 501 c3, c3 yet and still this is what we're going to do for our community no matter what yep so um that's dope within itself so now like last year uh i know because i, I after the fan day i was like yo this is dope <laughs> Um, but at the same time, it's a lot. It's a lot of work when you when you when you're not a nonprofit. But at the same time, when you stay a course and you guys stay the course, right? So you guys come in, y'all find a venue, and then you got what was the next step? After we found the venue, we just solicited all the people that we knew that did marketing, anybody that can help us put it together, and. By the grace of God, we just basically had people in line just willing to help us, willing right. to give back. And they were basically the pivotal part of this this process. Right. They helped us. And that's what it takes. It takes that village, that community. Yeah. Like, uh, you gave back. I know I, I know for me, uh, honestly, expectations are always exceeded. And you, I, and I know for sure being a, some, doing something for the first time, <laughs> how nerve-wracking it can be. Uh, how 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 frigid and, and on the edge you can be, uh, 
We pray a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. We pray. Yeah. We, yeah. we definitely argued. It was definitely a it moment. Was, yeah. It was intense, but it was all worth it. Right. It was so worth it. How Before many? that gala, we was like, oh, we're not doing this ever again because it was so much friction. Yeah. But once the gala happened, we all were like, we're rolling for next year. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Cause it, it definitely would test uh, a friendship, yeah. um, a relationship, anything that ships and floats like water. Right. <laughs> so either you're going to... Uh, Either you're going to float or you're going to sink. Right. And um, you guys definitely float, floating very well. Uh, how many how many um, people attended last year's event? How, how did that go? It was like 130. Oh. Um, so we anticipated 100. And yeah. we end up getting like, I'll say 130. Oh, probably 130. Oh, yeah. Like definitely between 130 and 140. So it clearly went over our heads but we were prepared obviously yeah. we just anticipated we was like okay at least 100 people you know somebody is, yeah you know somebody that good. we know gonna come they gonna bring somebody yeah. so we definitely just anticipated 100 and and you also well you also were able to get what sponsors as well right yes we were able to get sponsors which that was a task in itself obviously because we are a new company right um we don't have relationships per se we're still building right. ourselves so obviously we it was hard to get people to be like to understand that they could trust us because if somebody's giving you their money they obviously want to know that you could be trusted right. um to deliver and thankfully we had a solid amount of people that was willing to donate finances services volunteering their time like it, it just really worked out um and thankfully for us as a team and a unit like we actually put in a lot of money ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we we wanted it to happen so bad. That's something that that uh, we have to understand, and that people that uh, will allow would allow themselves to be open for the next time around, like this time coming mm -hmm. around. Because if if you're not willing to die for it, then why should I? Exactly. And you guys have obviously put yourselves in position for this upcoming event. So. This year, I'm actually going to be on board with you guys. Yes. And um, I I am very excited about it because you guys have established yourselves as as very trustworthy young ladies. Not only not only are y'all trustworthy, y'all extremely hardworking. So, um, I want the people to know exactly what's to come this year and how. How can they reach out to you guys to help make this make this year even bigger than last year was? Mm. What's to come this year? I feel like this year is it's a whole production this year. We have two live bots. I don't know if y'all ever heard of them, oh, but y'all yeah. should check them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know we them. Have two little short bots. dude. Yeah, that'd be crunk. That'd be right. Crunk. They they do have the little short ones, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're they're coming through. They're one of our sponsors. We have uh what's the what's the bar lady? The same the same bar lady that we had we had an open bar last year. It's an open bar and it's a bigger bar this year because we're open. anticipating even more people. Um we have Oh uh, oh also uh you were saying, I remember you were mentioning um, the process of coming to the event. What do they need? Okay, so to get into the event is $30 right now. As we get closer to time, the price will change from $30 to $45. It's $30 for entry with an unwrapped toy. And all of this information can be found on our Instagram handle, which is the pink print underscore EC. Um, the link is in the bio for Eventbrite. Also, we have a Facebook, which is the Pink Print Event Coordination. Um, and of course, you can find it on our pages as well. Mine is at double underscore Chrissy. That's K-R-Y-S-S-I. And what's yours? Underscore I am Nicole Kim. You can definitely contact either one of us and we'll get you connected to the event right right also our lead marketer which is akeem washington who has been the best promoter ever like he he's always the person that gets <laughs> pe like he hunts people down you know for this <laughs> event because he's so passionate about it and honestly he is definitely our third member in this right. because he 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 gets it in so you can find it at his handle which is at it's me akeem mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. on Instagram and also Akeem Washington on Facebook. Any of us. And of course, Mr. Arvis Lawson. Yes, that this is the the marketing genius right here. You know, he's he's definitely uh, oh, <laughs> he's definitely helped us uh, step it up a lot this year in regards to not being afraid to ask people exactly for what we want. So, yeah, I mean, what's to come this year is excitement, fun, giving back, you yeah. know, like definitely be 100 percent certain that what you're giving your money to is going to where it needs yeah. to be um all factual last how many, year how many to i mean how many how many gifts was given away yeah. last year last year we gave the lotus house over four thousand dollars worth of toys so oh, that was man. over 300 toys um so much and it was all worth it uh they were so thankful for it and this year we're definitely trying to give back to people who aren't protected by um the wonderful lotus house or a shelter you know people that's actually in the community that doesn't have the blessing of being covered and protected by a shelter yeah definitely you know how big i am on everyone knows someone that's in need so right. you know if yeah. you know anyone that would like to be a participant or receiving the gifts, let us know. And we'll definitely put them on the list. Because that's that's our goal, just to give back to the kids. We want everybody to feel like they're, they're someone. And the re- that's the reason why we say an unwrapped toy, because we don't want to give anyone hand-me-downs. We don't want that type of vibe to be received from a, a Christmas gift. Right. Help the mothers, help the families, help everyone else. We can do it together. Together yeah. we arise. Yeah, yeah. See, now that's Team dope. Makes the dream Teamwork right? makes the dream work. Right? That's yeah. that's my that's my line to them all the time. So this is what we're gonna do. Make sure you guys reach out to the Pink Print along with myself. I will definitely facilitate and coordinate everything that way. We must continuously stick together. We must continue to grow. We must continue to think as one, because with one machine, we can create a possibility. I mean, we created this country, so. Hey, that tell you a lot right there. This country was built off our backs, so why not continue to do the same things for our community members? I think I know, I don't think, I know this is going to be a dope event. I cannot wait. You guys shouldn't wait as well. Uh, get to that event, right? Continue to, to follow us on social media. To uh, If you want to be a sponsor, you can also please all sponsors, whether it be uh, food, rather gifting, kind, gifting anything that you feel like you you can step in and help in, and we have the the packages, right? Yes. So mm-hmm. you will be compensated for your your um not only your funds but your time as well. So uh, continue to open your hearts, minds, and eyes out for what these young ladies have coming up next, along with Fanny. Um, this guy here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we want to say thank you. I thank you guys so much for coming out and sharing your story. Thank, thank you, you for, for allowing us. us. Platform. Yeah, yeah, it's only right. It's thank only right you. because you guys are very uh, deserving of it. And this is something that we're going to do for each and everyone that wants that platform to open up and wants to, wants to voice what they have going on that's positive. Right. right. Um, no negatives. No, no negatives. Negative we don't do negatives. No. Energy is key. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to continuously... Uh, remain constant and stay at afloat as posit- positive givers, mm-hmm. lovers, and owners of our own thoughts, minds, and hearts. Amen. So I appreciate you guys one more time. They're going to give you the uh, information. Y'all make sure y'all reach out. Make sure y'all be at this event because I'm going to be there and I'm going to be turned up because I ain't been mm-hmm. turned up in a long time. Yes. So we're going to be real turned up. Listen, wait, hold on. We got to give y'all all of the information. Yeah, please do. It is going to be November 30th, oh, yeah. 2019. Cocktail hour starts at 7 p.m. Ooh, okay. Great food. That. You do not want to miss a cocktail hour. You know, if you want CP time, it's okay. You know, the doors will open officially at 8 a.m. Once again, it's open bar. November 30th, 2019, 7 p.m. at the Urban League of Broward County. That's in Broward. But it's okay. Yeah. It, it, it's okay, you we know? know it, we, know it, we know it won't get um, shut down. Right. <laughs> Again, tickets are $30 with a new unwrapped toy at the door. You pay the $30 on Eventbrite. Okay, you can go on Eventbrite and, and type in the pink Christmas. It'll pop up. Or you could come on any of our Instagram handles. That's at the pink print underscore EC or at double underscore k-r-y-s-s-i at i underscore at underscore i am nicole kim at 
Fan it. Yeah. <laughs> Fan it now. Uh, underscore now. And okay, there you go. And at it's me, Akeem. Um, well, you, you can call me as well. Right, and you can call us as well. Nine five four five nine nine seventeen thirty eight. Call. Oh my god. Yeah. No, yeah. If you click on the if you click on our Instagram page, it's the number on there. You can call it. And Definitely. You'll, you'll be able to Definitely. Any information that you need. Thank so you. this was our community session of Fanit. Um, again, I want to thank these beautiful young ladies for coming and sharing their story. I cannot wait. I'm ready to turn up because I haven't party openly and wildly because <laughs> there will be no kids at this event, even though we're doing no something. Kids. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. How did we forget that? So although we are doing this for the kids, you know, grown people have to handle their business, right? Yes. When, when, when you go to work, the kids don't come with you, right? Yeah, we're going to work. So, you know, we love the babies. We're doing it for the babies, but it is an open bar. And we want everyone to have a great time yeah, while giving back. Let right, right. <laughs> oh, dress formal, please. That's We, we didn't even say that. It is it is formal dress and we want black excellence we want minority excellence we want no no jeans no jordans you know you can bring your gold teeth it's fine just make sure that you're in a suit or you know I mean, a you formal to, yeah it don't have to be a suit. a suit like we don't need no tuxedos but it's definitely a formal event think black excellency that's they still, what we're all they about still wear linens, right they still wear linens I think so. I see my granddaddy. Granddaddy, yeah, yeah so. you know. But hey, hey. come on. <laughs> Even if you ain't a granddaddy, come put your linen on. Exactly. <laughs> like it's definitely formal attire. You know, we want y'all to smell good, look good, feel good, eat good, drink good, Ooh. and give back to the community good. I would, I would tell you all some spots where to go get y'all linen from, but they ain't paid for no sponsorship, Ooh. so we ain't go. <laughs> so we ain't go throw that when they start paying for sponsorships, or and then we'll see them. Exactly. And speaking right. of sponsors, I want to. Yeah, nothing for free. Nothing. I mean, it, it, if you put your hard work into it, it deserves its compensation. Right. Um, at the same time, I do want to say thank you to Farino Sports Fitness again for uh, their contribution. I want to thank you uh, for all Like Minds Media for their contribution. Thanks for Like Minds. And um, <laughs> for bringing everything in, into light. We can't wait to see you guys. The date is again. November 30th, 2019 November 30th, at the 20. Urban League of Broward County, 7 p.m. This was our community session of Fanit. Thank you guys, and we love you.